Look at how gray it is out in Pewaukee. Uh, we've had a few peaks of sunshine for the first time in about five days. Temperature is 37 degrees out there. Uh, it's even warmer here in Milwaukee. We've topped out around 41 degrees, but things are going to start dropping now with that front. So the snow that we got on Saturday, or excuse me, on Sunday, now pretty much gone except for a few little snow piles in some parking lots, uh, but we have more on the way. What's really on the way though, the colder air. This is not going to be like just bone chilling cold, but compared to how warm it has been for the last, what, eight weeks, even longer than that, it's going to be chilly. It's going to get your attention starting tomorrow morning, and then there is more snow in the forecast starting this weekend. The cold front making its way through the state. In fact, it's cutting it in half, and behind the front, it's not one of those cold fronts where it just it drops 20 degrees instantly. You won't notice that, but it does start to cool down like we're 41. It's 38 in Green Bay ahead of the front behind it. Temperatures have dropped into the lower 30s and then you get into Minnesota. Temperatures have dropped into the 20s. That will be us tomorrow afternoon in the 20s. Oof. And back off to the west. This is all because of this huge Arctic air mass that has just been gathering strength over the past couple of weeks. Well below zero. 33 below up in northern Canada. 24 below in Fairbanks, not including the wind chill. Now, rest assured, we are not going to get that cold with this outbreak, but we are definitely going to get a, a little bit of an Arctic smack in the face starting tomorrow morning through the weekend. But temperatures right now, once again, above normal. Upper 30s to lower 40s across the area. Starting to get a little cooler up in Dodge County and Green Lake County with temperatures near freezing. The winds aren't all that strong either for now. They're southwesterly at 5 to 15. That's dropping wind chills into the 20s and the 30s. It feels like 36 along the lakefront, 23 out towards Beaver Dam, and 27 in Watertown. So the timeline, once again, showing you this temperature drop. It's not a huge plummet within a matter of 90 minutes or so. It's going to take some time. We'll get into the upper 20s by around 7, 8 o'clock, and then we'll continue to drop into the lower 20s by sunrise, teens in the inland areas. We'll see a few flurries with this cold front passage over the next couple hours as well. But that's it. Nothing you have to shovel. Then it's quiet. The winds are going to be an issue. The cold's going to be an issue, but no snow the next couple of days. Not until we get to Saturday afternoon. Then you'll start to see some things beginning to change with the snowfall. Lows tonight dropping into the teens. This morning we had temperatures in the upper 30s, even around 40 degrees in some spots. That will be noticeable. That's a big change. And on top of that, a 10 to 20 mile per hour wind keeping wind chills in the single digits to around 10. Then tomorrow, upper 20s to around 30. It's going to be windy, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Wind chills around 10 throughout the day. So, winter lovers, you've been waiting patiently and waiting. Well, to wait no longer. 30 tomorrow afternoon, very windy on Thursday. 30 mile per hour winds and some flurries, but just flurries. 23 for a high on Friday. Then snow moves in here late in the day on Saturday. And as of right now, it looks to be a mainly Saturday night into Sunday event. You are going to have to shovel just how much. We're still watching that, but yes, you will have to get some exercise finally, Vinny. We're going to shovel. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. You got